Let's see if I manage to get through this. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Oh, if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday, I hope you're all having a great start to your week. We will see if I manage to get through this video because there is very loud music playing next door and not only is it putting me off, I'm really worried that the camera's going to pick it up as well. So let's see if I can get through this video because this is the only time in the next two weeks that I can film this video. So I'm not going to let anyone stop me because they would win me. So I am here with a very exciting plush review. At the time of recording, it's not available in the UK, but I really hope for all of your sakes that by the time this video goes up, it has been made available in the UK. It was made available in the US the week after the UK got the May Mickey Mouse the main attraction and if you didn't see my review earlier this month I will leave a card above to that video but mine has actually been picked up from Disneyland Paris who got it the same time the US did and one of my wonderful followers Kerry offered to pick it up for me because I'm not going to Disneyland Paris I absolutely love the fact that Disneyland Paris get it as well because when there are these delays in the UK I can still get it. Like I said with Maze I did go to Disneyland Paris a week after they got it and unfortunately it had sold out so I did have to wait until the UK got it. But honestly if I could get it picked up from Disneyland Paris by a friend every month I would absolutely do that. I would not do it through a pickup because they charge 50 euros which is way more than the £32 I would pay in the UK and I have found out from Kerry, because bless her she only charged me retail, that they are only €30 Euros, which works out to £26 so Disneyland Paris actually sell them for cheaper which is nice so that means that people with an annual pass probably get them even cheaper I imagine so like I said this is not available in the UK at the time of filming but I really hope by the time this video goes up that there has been a release date and a subsequent release because the May Tiki Room has in fact delayed June and July and probably August by the time this video goes up. So this is Mickey Mouse the main attraction June. It is based on Peter Pan's flight which was a very popular one when the Minnie Mouse the main attraction launched. I remember a lot of people had not collected any up until that point and it sold out very quickly especially the lounge fly bag. I really love that he's got like a rain hat and a raincoat on. It's proper British attire considering Peter Pan is set in London. I was really worried about this one with regards to getting it from Shop Disney UK because the ears could have got bent, the feather could have got bent, so many things could have been damaged because of Shop Disney UK's recklessness and there is the added worry now that they may come smelling of cigarette smoke but this one has been lovingly picked up from Disneyland Paris Kerry sent me pictures of what they had to let me pick my own which was nice because obviously Shop Disney UK you get what you're given basically but I absolutely love him so let's show you him in more detail on his left ear he's got the second star to the right and he's got some smaller stars on his right ear his right ear is the one that is embroidered Walt Disney is in the Walt Disney script and then World is in a really strange script and then it has a 50 there is a feather and a ride vehicle which is a galleon I think on his hat and then he's wearing a gorgeous raincoat that's a little bit thicker material wise than February's Pirates of the Caribbean I would say because while I admit that they have been trying to cut costs with these I think this one is slightly better material than the rest have been maybe the delays have been that they're trying to make them better quality I don't know that might just be wishful thinking on my part so there are gold cuffs on his jacket and gold buttons and then you've got clouds and stars all over the jacket and then he's wearing blue striped trousers and he's got blue boots and then he's got his stamp on the left foot and I'm just going to read you what his tag says all you need is faith trust and a little bit of pixie dust prepare to soar across the London skies and off to Neverland Peter Pan's flight was an opening day attraction 
making its debut at the Magic Kingdom Park at the Walt Disney World Resort in 1971. It gives guests the feeling of travelling to a faraway place where you can stay young forever, but only for like 45 seconds and you have to queue like an hour and a half for that. So this is Mickey. I have, of course, got his tag protector ready. They are A7 polyfiles. I have actually just had to order some more, but there it is on. And I've got his stand as well, and this was the last stand I had, so I've had to order more. And when I was going to put this on just now, I've noticed he's got a lovely little like kerchief around his neck, which is like lace, which I imagine will match mini. So actually I'm not going to put the wire around his jacket like I did last month because then you won't see that. There we go. So let's get mini for comparison. This time I've actually remembered to already have her, so I haven't got to get up. So this is mini. She is absolutely gorgeous. What I prefer about this mini is that you've got the children flying over London on her dress, which they did not do on his jacket. But I have noticed with these that they don't want them to match exactly. They just want them to complement one another, which is completely fine. I do have a bentier situation with this mini, but luckily my Mickey is absolutely perfect. If you want to see the in-depth video I did on this mini, I will leave a card up above because obviously I will not be taking her tag protector off to read her tag or anything but I think they work really well together I personally think that Mickey's materials are slightly darker in colour the gold is definitely bolder but I think they complement each other well and I wish they could actually stand side by side but unfortunately I just don't have the space to do that so he kind of stands covering her at the moment but yeah, those are Mickey and Minnie. Like I said, the delays have been caused by the May Mickey being late. It released six weeks late in the UK. And at the time I'm filming this, there is no word on June or July. And I am literally filming this on the last day of July. So we should have had July two days ago. I would personally like it if they would just do releases like three weeks apart rather than a month apart for a little bit of time just to get us caught up because I personally don't want this collection to go into 2023. It should end in December. There's no reason for it to be delayed really because June is out across the world apart from the UK but March was also out in France and Shanghai when the US and the UK didn't get it due to quality issues. I do have that one on the way from Shanghai because I've just decided I cannot be bothered with Shop Disney UK's lack of organisation. With that being said, July hasn't even dropped in Disneyland Paris yet. I'm hoping it releases mid-August in the same way that June's released in mid-July. So if anyone is going to Disneyland Paris around the time that that releases, I would love it if they could pick it up for me. But I know that might not be possible, so I might have to just wait until Shop Disney UK finally gets it. But since they haven't had June yet, and it's been two weeks since Disneyland Paris had June, it looks highly unlikely that they would have July by the time this video goes up. But that one is one I'm really excited for. It is King Arthur's Carousel. Here is the picture of it. It's actually, funnily enough, August's that I'm the least excited for because it is Dumbo. Dumbo was the only one in the Minnie Mouse the Mine attraction to have delays and pretty much all of the Mickeys have had delays so I hate to think how Dumbo Mickey will go and how Dumbo Mickey will look because I absolutely hated how he looked. But that is it from me, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below to let me know if you are collecting anything from this collection. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Friday for a new video. Bye friends!